factor completely. 2x squared minus 4xy minus 3xy plus 6y squared. When we see more than three terms, usually that's a clue that we can factor by grouping. And the grouping is a process that uh, ultimately kind of looks at uh, the reverse of distribution to factor this. So we'll look at this group, 2x squared minus 4xy is one group, and then the negative 3xy and plus 6y squared is another group. So for this first group, what can we factor out? What is common among 2x squared and negative 4xy? And that is 2x. There's a 2 that can be factored out and an x that can be factored out of each of those terms. So what is left is x minus 2y. And what I mean by what is left is, what would you have to multiply by 2x to get 2x squared? And that is x. What would you have to multiply by 2x to get negative 4xy? That's negative 2y. Now we look at this next group and what is common. Well, we see a 3 and a y is common to each of these terms. It's usually a good idea to factor out the negative coefficient if there is one. So I'm going to factor out the negative 3y. And now what would I multiply by negative 3y to get negative 3x? That's just x. And what would I multiply by a negative to get a positive? That's going to be a negative. So negative 3y times negative 2y will give us positive 6y squared. And lo and behold, these are common factors now. We've got this giant group and this giant group. And we've got these common factors, uh, this, this huge thing, x minus 2y, that can be factored out. So I'll just write that x minus 2y that can be pulled out of each of those big things. And what is, what is x minus 2y being multiplied by? Well, it's being multiplied by 2x, and it's being multiplied by negative 3y. So we can see this factoring as the reverse of distribution. Okay, that's factoring by grouping. We're going to take this next one, 6x squared minus xy minus 12y squared, and we're going to turn it into something that you can factor by grouping. So typically, we're going to use, for something like this, that has a coefficient other than 1 on the x squared, a nice method to use is called the AC method. And it's, it's really kind of, kind of a neat little trick. Uh, you might think it's tedious because, because you're, you're trying to get through it, but, but it, it always works, which is a nice thing. So we look at these coefficients. This is our a, our b, and our c. And I'm just going to look at the coefficients. That the, the y is going to kind of tag along, and that's going to work out just fine. So here we have a equals 6 and b equals negative 1, and c equals negative 12. And the AC method says that we want to find two numbers such that the product equals AC, and the sum equals B. Not 6, but B. <laughs> sum equals B. So in our case, b is negative 1, and our product that we want, this ac, is 6 times negative 12, so negative 72 is our product. Well, what two numbers have a product of negative 72 and a sum of negative 1? And this could take a little trial and error, but you would find it to be 8 and negative 9. 8 times negative 9 equals negative 72, and 8 plus negative 9 equals negative 1. Okay, now we are going to take these two numbers and rewrite this middle term as a, as a sum of, uh, with these two coefficients. And it's oftentimes easier if you write the negative coefficient first. So let's do that. I'm going to rewrite this 6x squared now I'm going to write, instead of writing negative xy, I'm going to write negative 
8xy plus 8xy. And so I'll just show that I've rewritten the negative 1xy. And then minus 12y squared. Now we can take this and factor it by grouping. So what is common among 6x squared and negative 9xy? Looks like a 3x. Factor out a 3x, and what's left is x minus 3y. Now, what is common among 8xy and negative 12xy squared? Probably a 4, 4 4y. Now, what would you multiply by 4y to get 8x? That is 2x. And I noticed a blunder back there. Let's see if I can just squeeze that in there. I need a 2 in there. 2. 3x times 2x equals 6x squared. Sorry about that. Okay, 4y times 2x equals 8xy. And then minus 3y. These Because these, these terms had better... Uh, these these factors had better match up like they did in our first example. Now we're going to just factor out the 2x minus 3y. Hey, look at that. That is actually the same thing that factored out of the first one. And that's being multiplied by both 3x and 4y. So we've taken this problem that looked initially kind of a, a big and messy, but we broke it down step by step and then ultimately used factoring by grouping to factor that.